Hey, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, good night, wherever you are in the world. Uh, today we are attacking the Pharaoh's tomb, which I am super stoked about. But also, I asked if anyone knows German, and here's why. I was helping Sinterklaas purchase gifts for my family. And one of the things that Sinterklaas does is he brings us advent calendars. Because uh, we also celebrate Swedish Christmas and American Christmas, but we live in the Netherlands. And while I was online on Amazon.nl, I found this. It is in German, and it's an advent calendar and an escape room. And I was like, I'm intrigued, and I must see what this looks like. I was kind of like, I had this image of like an advent calendar where you open and each day you get a piece of a puzzle or something. And I was like, that that's going to be bullshit. So I actually, I actually also helped 
Vincent purchased an actual advent calendar for me. Um, also, I don't speak German, but I could only find an escape room advent calendar in German. So if you've seen this in Dutch or English, pardon, uh, let me know because it's cool as shit. Okay. So I opened it up and I actually, I used Google Translate on my phone. It's a book and it's kind of like, like in the beginning it says, stop and it's basically like this is an escape room and um you have to pick the right page to go to for the next each day so the mind blown but second of all over here see how it is scissors and then on the side and my camera's really shitty um this translate to open the page and and I was like, what? But if you look at the first page, which is just like, what hints am I supposed to take from this? I don't know. I don't know either, right? But this page right here, it opens. And so you cut it open and the stories start from the hidden pages. So you can't accidentally ruin the story by looking through it. Isn't that brilliant? I love that. Okay, so now um, I would love it if someone who <laughs> knows German could help me with this because I really want to solve it now. Um, or I'll just keep trying to use Google Translate. But Google Translate fail happens when, for example, this section is uh, is mixed up words. And so if you don't know the language well enough to unmix the words, yeah, that's why. That's why I need someone who speaks actual German and not just Google Translate. But I'll tell you what, I am going to try attacking this. And if I do well, uh, maybe we will play with that next Saturday. Maybe not. Maybe not. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, oh man. Also, I totally forgot to eat my dessert before I came online live. Damn it. This is not vodka. I also, I started early. I guess that's my prize. If I get through this. Where is my charger? Um, I do not have the extra camera set up for close up because we we're doing exit the game tonight as opposed to unlock Space Cowboys. So there will be no uh, close up cam. Uh, but I do have from above cam and also I've busted out my scissors because I love exit the game. One of the things it does really well is you can cut and or tear up everything and you only play the game once and that is it so this is a bit of a walk through for exit the game the pharaoh's tomb so switching camera views see you on the flip side dun, dun, dun. and we also adjust the angle so it's a little bit better all right we've got a nice view of my pants so let's fix that, shall we? Pants. Okay. We got my scissors. They go up there. This is the Pharaoh's tomb. You ready? Set. Hi. Wait. EMV. Wait. A EMV. Hello. Wait. Um watching from periscope slash twitter we are doing exit the game the pharaoh's tomb and tonight the excursion to the valley of the kings is your highlight on your vacation to egypt as you crawl through the narrow passageways you lose the rest of your tour group you enter a mysterious burial chamber a massive stone door closes behind you on the floor lie a dusty notebook and an ancient disc 
I just realized I think I need an iPad for this. These are my kids. That's the oldest. He's now six. Those are the twins. Hey, Ed. Okay. I know he, yeah. Hello, Ed. All right. Let me get my kids off camera. Bam. Totally wasn't watching Twitter and playing the Luna story today while I wrapped presents. That's it. I'm pretty sure. Dun, 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 dun. <gasps> Hello. Ed, if you see something that I overlook, shout at me. We will relook. Okay, what are we? I don't even know if this is an adult lab, an expert. Oh, shit. It's an expert. Of course it's an expert. Why wouldn't it be an expert? That's cool. <clears throat> Shall we put this over here? So it's a little bit easier to see. Oh, but totally in the ring light. That's cool. Do you all want me to do the tutorial for this? Because I've done it before and I'm pretty comfortable with just jumping in. But if you would like, I can totally do the tutorial. It's up to you. Also, is the volume up high enough? Also, I need to get this off of Halo. No, not that. Stop it. Forget. Nope. Stop it. Forget. Forget. That way you can actually hear it when the sound is going. Did it disconnect enough? Yes. Good. Okay. Um, it's 45 to 90 minutes. Tutorial? Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. Hi. Carson, it is kick ass to see you. Carson, Ed, Ed, Carson. You're both watching on Periscope. Okay, so basically the tutorial is like, maybe I should review. It's been a while. Welcome to exit the Pharaohs too. Oh, thank you. You are part of a tour group in Egypt. Your visit to the Valley of Kings is the highlight of your vacation. You find the tomb of Tutankhamun especially spellbinding. Inside, you notice that you've lost the rest of the group. As you wander through the passageways, fascination gradually turns to panic. <laughs> Suddenly, you find yourself in a mysterious burial chamber and you hear a frightening sound. The stone door closes behind you, blocking your escape. As you look around, you discover a dust-covered notebook and an ancient disc. In there. The entire tomb seems to be covered with riddles. You will only be able to escape if you manage to solve all the riddles in time. If not, you will be buried under stone forever. Forever. This is sucks. I wonder if we can play this faster. Of course not. Okay, fine. The other games in the Cosmos Exit series also follow the same principle on which this explanation is based. The other exit games vary with respect to their themes and, of course, the riddles as well. If you want to set up the game right away, please note that when a red exclamation point appears on the screen, it indicates that there is something that you must do at that time. The game materials consist of a book, the decoder disc, and a few other strange items, along with three different sets of cards, which will now be explained in more detail. Oh, I'm glad we read this. Now or the listen to this. Disc, the book and the cards on the table. Oh. Put the strange items back in the box for now. Put shit back in the box. Quit touching shit. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Ah! Dang it. Okay. Now place the decoder disc. Yes. The book. Oh, the cards Sorry. On the table. Put the strange items back in the box for now. 
Now get the three stacks of cards ready. Damn it. Sorted by card type. See, back sides. Important. But do not look at the front sides yet. Do okay. Right. I remember doing this now. Okay. Put that back in the box. Do you, is it like what's back in the box? Get back in the box. I feel like that's from something. Like a puppet show. I don't know. Alright. Obviously we cannot have thumbs. Thumbs are for people who aren't about to deal cards. And also, obviously, we need to have a lot of desk space. Because I remember, you have to spread... Okay. You have to spread Check these out, the like, a lot. The stack is sorted in ascending alphabetical order. And then place the sorted stack on the table. Yeah. Cool. Next, check to be sure that the blue stack is sorted in ascending order from 1 to 30. And then place the sorted stack on the table. Yes. And then the help cards have to be like divided up. Now sort the green cards according to their symbols. Shit. Generally, each symbol has three help cards. First clue, second clue, and solution. Place the second clue on the solution and then place the first clue on the second clue. Oh thank God. This will yield For a second I was like three cards. I can reverse the order. Fuck you. Alright, I need a lot more desk space. A lot more desk space. I'm working on it. Why do I have a different... Okay. What? 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 what just happened? Okay. Okay. Okay, these are just... What? <laughs> okay, two commercials. The Abandoned Cabin, which, yes, we have played it before. Thank you. Uh, Secret Laboratory, we have not. Uh, and then To Be Continued in Fall 2017. So hopefully they continued. And then this just says, this is the bottom of the deck of cards. Now turn the entire deck over. And then it says the same thing, and then the same thing. Okay. This game has no game boards. You will have to figure out for yourself oh, what you need to find in the game and what the rooms look like. At the start of the game, you will only have the book and the decoder disc available to you. Mm -hmm. As the game continues, you will add the riddle cards, either to be found in illustrations or referred to in the text. Whenever this happens, you can pick the corresponding cards from the riddle card pile and look at them. In this example, imagine you are taking the card from the stack. Yeah, but do but not don't actually do it, it dumbass. Thank you. Your goal is to get out of a room together in as short a time as possible. Okay. <laughs> that would certainly be a lot easier if every lock in the room were not secured with a riddle. In the course of the game, you will keep finding objects that are locked with a three-part code. By add the objects, you will have to figure out the magic code and enter it into the decoded disk. To do that, you can turn the three wheels of the disk independently. In the burial chamber, the codes consist of hieroglyphs. At the edge of the disk, you will find ten different symbols. Each symbol stands for a code to be cracked. But you will have to figure out for yourselves which symbol belongs to which code. You will want to be sure to pay attention to every detail. If you think you can crack a code, enter it under the corresponding symbol on the disc. Okay. A number will appear in the viewing window of the smallest wheel. This number indicates the number of the answer card that you are then allowed to look at. In this example, you may look at number two, but don't actually do it. Okay. This is just an example. Sorry. If the code was incorrect, you'll have to keep searching for a solution or switch to another riddle for the time being. In that case, 
simply place the card back in the stack and take another look at the riddle that you have failed to solve. Maybe there's something that you overlooked, or it may be that you simply don't yet have the hints that you need to solve it. Then you will just have to continue someplace else. That makes sense. If the code was possibly correct, the answer card will tell you how to continue. Let's assume that the decoder disk had actually led you to answer card one. <gasps> In that case, the card will indicate ten possibilities. One for each of the ten symbols on the disk. To find the right one, mm. you'll have to take a careful look at the pictures in the book or on the riddle cards. In this example, you looked at the riddle with the L shape and entered the suspected code in the disk. You will find the L shape symbol on the sarcophagus in the book. You therefore have to look next to the picture of the sarcophagus on the answer card mm. to find out which answer card you should look at next. This principle applies to all the riddles. Look at the symbol that you see on the disc and see if you can find it in illustrations in the book and on the riddle cards. And just follow the instructions for this symbol on the current riddle card. Note, you must see the object with a symbol on a riddle card or in the book in order to be able to open it. You cannot open something that you have not yet found. That's just profound. Just in a real exit room. <laughs> That makes sense. Here, you are allowed to take a look at card 12. Look for it in the stack. In the actual game, you would be allowed to turn it over. Please do not do this now, however. <laughs> Don't do that, dumbass. If the riddle has not yet been correctly solved, you will see no! the red X. In this case, simply place the card back in the stack and continue trying to solve the riddle. I really wish we could speed this up. Congratulations. You have <gasps> discovered something. Twelve to switched. You have found new riddle cards. Rude. In the actual game, you will either find new cards here, or you will find other things to help you in what follows. Now slip the blue card back into the stack. Of course, the game can provide you with assistance if you get... Wait, I remember this. I remember help. I remember that. I remember that. Let's start. What are you waiting for? Start the stopwatch or the timer app. Now you are allowed to look at the book and begin solving riddles. I'm gonna put this over this here. Is unclear. Oh, that's annoying. About looking something up in the manual Apparently, the I'm gonna put this over here. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Uh, timer. Ready, sit, go. Ooh, for five days, I've been trying to find a way out of this burial chamber. Hopeless. I can't go any further. My supplies are running low. If something does not happen soon, this will become my burial chamber too. I made notes in this book about everything I was able to find out. What might I have overlooked? Damn. What might I have overlooked? The ancient Egyptians and chocolate ice cream were always my greatest passions. That they could become my doom is, and chocolate ice cream has become your doom. That they could become my doom is something I would never have thought, would have never have. Wait, what? That they could become my doom is something I never would have imagined possible. That kind of hurts. Presumably, whoever's reading this book will be in a similar predicament to the one I am now. If only I'd listened to the advice of the locals. Hurry, or the burial chamber will close its gates forever. That's what they said, but I didn't want to listen. Dr. H. Ford. Okay. This, okay, so by, by the way, I turned, I totally turned this over. These are the numbers zero through nine. And just in case. Full, wait, fold page three along the dotted bend. Oh, look at that. Okay, I could have done that on my own. Thanks. Okay. Well, at least we're not starting it out stupid. That's cool. But I did flip that over during the tutorial, so I felt obligated to show my awesomeness. 
Okay. All right. If you must enter through this door, you must follow these lines of instructions. Look for the numbers hidden in the pictures, picture of my burial chamber on page 10. And don't let the writing on this page lead you astray. Keep your eyes focused on what's important. Always be careful not to overlook anything. Some numbers are extremely difficult to see. Only with careful observation can you be sure to find these very sought after numbers and thus discover the correct solution for this river to come's game. And also the, this is for the square. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, I'm going to write these down separately. Okay. E N I N R T E E H. Did that say 13? Sort of. O N E O F U R E T H G S X I. Okay. That looks like six. Uh, SXI. Oh, sorry. Let me do this correctly. Okay. So this is nine. Then three. Then one. And then four, <laughs> Ow. E T H I G, E T H I G, eight, eight, six, and then two. Seven. Okay. So that's the thing. All right, let's go to page 10. Also, this is how you tell the hieroglyphics. All right, page 10. Woo! I don't even. Oh my God. Page 10. Page 10. Look, there's the L. Also, there's the square. And it has a three. Tucson comes. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Riley. Um. Oh, like fuck. Should I teach them the word fuck? Cause Riley, by the word way, don't say fuck in public. You're welcome. Okay, we've got a mirror with a line green line under it we've also got a oh the m card look <laughs> all right yay imagine what happens if you look at this in the mirror Or, oh, right. Should we look at C U O? I think. Why is that so hard? Okay. Okay, so, okay, now I'm, like, dotting myself, but isn't a C written the other way? Uh, 
Yeah. All right. We've also got Nefertiti's Burial Chamber, which also has two more codes. Got an upside down triangle and a six sided star. We've got Open Me. That's great. Okay. With a three code and a diamond. And then we've got when Cleopatra plays, she always reads from the bottom to the top. Ooh, also, I just noticed those. That's pretty. Okay. Okay. Cleopatra's game. D before B. Oh, my God. What? Nice. Okay. A after C. C switches with D. B before A. I suddenly have so many questions. Okay. Oh, we've got this. I would, and this is Nefertiti's game. This is Paintball. I have so many regrets, just by the way. Thank you, Family Pine. Ooh. Wait, who's Family Pine? Hello, look at the letters in mirror or phone. I just kind of guessed it would be COU. I could just take a picture on my phone. Couldn't I? Does this, nope, this camera does not reverse. Okay. So. Connect two to two, stick to the rules. This is the moon. Okay, not that I'm panicked, but, you know, panic. It's fine. Okay. Anyone got any ideas? <laughs> oh, hey, it's Lisa and Rebecca. So that's Nefertiti's. That's Cleopatra's game, which is D before B, A after C, C switches with D, B before A. Wait. Oh, does anyone have any hints? No, no one has any hints. Good to know. Thank you. Okay, so maybe I should be looking at the hints for this to make sure that I actually am. And then page 10. And I go to page 10. And then, yes. I do see a connection. I'm pretty sure it's just going to tell me it's a mirror. And then I would do C. Oh, no, 308. Okay, that would have been smarter. Okay. All right, so we do 308 in front of the L. That is not the direction I would have gone. And these go away. Yay. Okay, I need to put them back, but I'm not going to. 308. Okay. In front of L. Oh my gosh, this is gonna hurt. I'm just gonna keep out this help card that has the thing. Okay. Three is, oh, thank God, three. O is the fish. Where is the fish? 
there it is. And then eight is, I can already tell that we are having a marvelous adventure together today. Hi! Is that you, Riley? On Twitch, young person. What are you doing on Twitch? Uh, 19. Words are hard. <laughs> Hi, Riley. Don't fucking use grown up words. Alright, 19. And we found it on 11. Hey, I remember this. Super, the sarcophagus is open next to the remains of. T- 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 you find riddle card C, F, and U, along with this strange green item. Take the green item out of the box and the riddle cards from the stack and look at them. Hey, C! Hey, you! Good. Okay, good. We didn't get too far off. E, F. Can we put the O back? Yes, we can. Look at that. Okay. Much better. And also green. Okay. I was like, where's my shit? Oh, what's your Twitch? Carson, it's very complicated. It's Rain Leander. <laughs> so twitch.tv slash Rain Leander. I'm pretty sure we can get rid of the hints. Do I have that already set up? No, I don't. There we go. No worries. Let me know if it doesn't work, okay? Now I'm curious. Twitch? Yeah, Rain Leander. I do exist. Okay, yeah, I put the right thing. Okay, now we have this awesome green thing of awesomeness. And we put those back. So now we have <laughs> a new one. Oh boy. Um, open me. When Cleopatra plays, she always reads from top to bottom. And a new thing, which I think I know where this goes in the notes, but that can go away. Wait, where did, where? There we go. C is in Chiaf? Maybe. Never mind. Yep, I'm lost again. That's cool. It's fine. This is fine. Reads from bottom to top. And then we've got this diamond thingy. We don't even, okay. B before A. All right, we did that. I'm pretty sure that can go away. Um, all right. All right. B before A. Swiss C switches a D, which we have no idea where they are anyway. Like, how do I know what order they are to initiate? Right? Unless we were just assuming it was A, B, C, D, and then we switch them, and then we C switches with D, and then A after C, and then D before B. Ah, where's the hard D, B, C, A. 
But I still don't know where that goes. CBID. Riley tried that. Would it start with CBID? Or would it end with CBID? I don't know. And then... And then what's the initial word? Huh? What is it, Cleopatra? Talk to us. Damn it. I don't even... Do I even have her somewhere? She's not there. No, I don't even have a Cleopatra anywhere. Connect two to two. Stick to the rule. Okay, we don't know the rules for that yet. But I don't have a place where I can enter that code. No for TD. I have a bunch of paintball, so that's cool. And then I have this, and then I have hip. Hip. Um, so we could either look for help with the diamond or with the square. There's the candle. By the way, and then there's a diamond. Oh, it's chocolate ice cream. Remember the chocolate ice cream on the foil pad? What, what starts out the frequent? That's a great question. See? Oh, on the folded page. Start on the folded page. Okay. See us in. Monkey Munch is smarter than me. Yeah. But I don't know, like... How it goes down yet. Also, I found something interesting, and that is that... He references chocolate ice cream in the... Um, as an undoing. And that chocolate ice cream right there is has a diamond on it and so does the um what kind of beetle is that thing okay so i'm gonna be like ice cream what's up which is this to solve this you two have found card f which is this and page 10, look closer image, what object is symbol printed on, ice cream. Oh, maybe we're supposed to sell or spell. <laughs> okay. I-C-E. I-C-E. Okay. So we're supposed to spell I-C-E. Um, and and then does it just pop straight down? You think? I feel like I'm missing, like this should go in the middle somehow. It seems too easy. On page 10, you will see ice cream. Look at the letters. Three letters replace the square from riddle F. Oh, so I do use that. In the correct orientation in the space on page four, follow the correct lines and you will have cropped the code. How do I know which orientation to put it in? I'm going to assume it's Cheops for some reason. No, I don't know what orientation. I know nothing, Jon Snow. I know nothing. I mean, it does say Cheops. 
Also, fuck this. Okay, this is why I love this game. Right here. I still don't know why CB, CB, D, DBCA. All right. Are we looking for the ones that actually match up? All of them? But they all match up. They all match up at the top. God damn it. Okay. If they all match up at the top, they all also match up at the bottom. Of course they do. Okay. So how do we know which orientation? Okay. Cheops is supposed to be. How would I have known Cheops? <laughs> I know, right? You're supposed to, I swear. So Cheops. Okay. So, and then we spell ice cream or I-C-E. So. I see E. Okay, here we go. Bam! Diamonds is Birdie. And then flower thingy. And then I feel like if one of my friends who's watching like knows hieroglyphs and how they're pronounced, that they're terribly embarrassed for me right now. That's okay. <laughs> Where is the liberation? I like how you think. All right. This was on 13. You have opened the scarab scarab is the word I was trying to find. You have opened the scarab casket. You find riddles, cards, A, I, Q. Take these riddle cards from the stack and look at them. A, I, Q, A, I, Q, A, I, Q. A, I, Q. All right, so presumably we can get rid of this. And also we use all of those. So we're just doing awesome. Hey, ABCD. Ta -da. Which are in a different order, but that's fine. Okay. Sketch of Imhotep's palace. Oh, they want us to cut that up, I think. Because it really does look like it could fold into, quit laughing at me. It looks like it could fold into an actual shape. I'm just going to put that aside for now. I'll come back to you. And then this one is when Tutankhamun plays he only sees every other list starting with the first and then i think there was one specifically labeled with yeah okay every other line starting with the first line so this is the first line two three four Five, six. Oh my god, I'm crossing things out. I feel like a bad person. Therefore, the numbers are three, eight. Two, three, eight, two. Finally. <laughs> oh, yeah. And what's three? And square. 
three. Why is there no three on the outside? Where's the three? Three, 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 three. There it is. Three. Eight. Oh, convenient. Two. Two tut common is your character. Pharaoh two. T oh my god, I can't. What? Are you saying that's how to pronounce it? Two ton common. Two ton. Two ton common. Two tut common. Yes. No, it's not my character. My character is like me but anyway just a minute <laughs> focus five oh is that right yeah the square oh where is the square just a sec i could have sworn we had the square yeah it's right here okay square don't argue with me. Oh, 30. <laughs> 30. Oh, which is the last part. 30. The door to the burial chamber opens. You come to the treasure chamber of the great Tutut Common. Thank you. Um, LTV. L. TV. All right, probably that can go away. You know, Cleopatra, why? Why? Okay, so we've got enough for Cleopatra, but I don't know where her plus some. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Thank you, plus symbol. Also, I'm missing a card. Oh, wait, no, I put a card back. Right. Mubby. All right. So I think that this is too tough common. I think Cleopatra is, I can turn this over now, is DBCA. Uh, my friend Riley. Wait, sorry. I've been saying Riley this whole time. I'm at Ripley. Rip, you. Thank you. Rip, Ripley. Hello, Ripley. Okay, Ripley thinks it's CBAD. Okay. So let's try CBAD. So bad for this first. And then we will try BCA. I like bad better because it actually spells something. Hey, Gabriel. Good to see you. All right. All right. Don't have to let, laugh at the idiot. Also, not vodka. All right. What are we doing? Plus. Symbol. And we're just going to spell B A D because Ripley is awesome. So, boat. Uh, bird, which is already in place. That's not creepy. And 28. No, I just, it didn't even let us go to the next, okay, BCA. Which starts the same. But then instead, it goes to the flying beetle. And then the bird. It was 29, so... 
All right, where did I see the code symbol? Right there, which is 21. I'm so glad I reviewed the instructions, the tutorial today, because I forgot how complicated the cards are. Yay, the chest is open. You find riddle cards B and R and the strange red item. Take the red item out of the box and the riddle cards from the stack and look at them. Yay! All right, we got the red. And B R. All right, we can probably put these aside. And put those back. Okay. Oh my God, are you, oh girl. Oh. Okay. Okay, we can do this. Okay, this one's, I think, I think. Oh my God. All right. All right. I don't know what we're trying to solve, but this is a splatter paint. This is splatter paint. Um, it says cover no more than needed, but cover all brown with the bed chamber. And then it's got like, you know, different. Hey. Um, so I think we're supposed to cut these apart. and put them in different places. So, share with the class. Okay, thank you. Um, did I share enough just now? <laughs> um, I don't know what, I don't know what the fuck barbecue, I don't even know if the camera will focus, but basically it's got all the teeny tiny little symbols. Um, and the only thing that it remotely matches is the back, but I'm not sure if the back is related. It's sort of kind of related, but anyway. And then, um, oh, I see. And then this one says, in Nefertiti's game, at arrows she aims. If they don't get pierced, nothing gets found. And then this is Nefertiti's game. This one right here. Um, so. Errors. <laughs> like, okay, so there's an error. There's a gun. <laughs> there is an actual gun right here. So. Theoretically, I. pierce it somehow uh but yeah there's a gun and then let me see if i can see any other errors um i mean we do have just like a hand hanging out but that's okay i'm not sure i can find something as obvious as a gun error anywhere else. But it, I mean, it says errors. If they don't get pierced, nothing gets found. Hmm. 
I'm not sure how that helps. Okay. I don't know. I don't know yet. But also, so the other thing is cover no more than needed, but cover all uh, browns with the bed chamber. And then in this, this is the bed chamber. So I need to cut apart everything in this picture. Um, cover all green with the garden, cover all red with the reception hall, cover all light blue with the washing chamber, cover all dark blue with the colonnade, cover all orange with the hearth. And see each of these have, like the altar isn't on there, but pretty, is the altar on there? No, there's no altar. But pretty much all the others are on our list. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so like three. What's on the other side of this page? Oh, that's a good call. So should I pierce it? <laughs> pierce that guy. But the other side of this page, like, oh, I see. Like, maybe it's, um, maybe it's actually referencing the letters or the numbers on the other side. Because, look, now the one is pierced. I like it. Brandy's awesome. Okay, so we have a gun, and it, it does number one. Um, so then theoretically we need one, two other errors <laughs> in this page. Fuck. I'm going to have to take off my glasses. All right, taking off my glasses. Did they have giraffes back in the day? Because there's a giraffe, but it's huge. I think I think the errors are going to be teeny tiny like this one. <gasps> that hat. Hell yes. I just lost my red magic thing. Ugh. Okay, hat. Which now pierced number eight. So that's cool. And then one more thing. One more error. Thank you, Brandy. Oh, a jacket. I can actually put my glasses back on. Now. Yep. Jacket. Okay. All right. So we pierced. And it's from left to right. So 815. But where is Nefertiri's game? There it is. Is that, and do we have that? We do have that. Okay, we can solve this. Okay, you sit there and look pretty. You too. Also, I have to use this. Okay, this is bullshit. This is coming off. So I can just put it right there. Okay, and now I've got loose from left to right, eight. Uh, here we go. Eight. One. Bird. Five, I. Seventeen. And 
challenge is seven. Great, the mask is open. You find riddle cards JP. Take these riddle cards from the stack and look at them. JP! Probably get rid of that. Draw over the tiles, but only these tiles. This is probably for this one. Without the palace, you are lost, but the sketch will only help up to a point. You need the blue original. This is what this says. And this is the sketch of Imhotep's palace. And then it says, let's rock, spoke Imhotep as he destroyed his original palace. Rude. Okay. So there's that and that. And then draw over the tiles, but only these tiles. Okay. I got you. I sometimes this game stresses me out a little bit. Alright, fishy fish. Oh my god. I might be destroying everything. Fish, 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 fish. Is there a way to do this faster? I'm just saying. Just saying. Bet you didn't know you would be coming to a coloring party tonight. Neither did I. I think that's all of them. Now the weird flying scarab thing. I think it's a scarab. <laughs> I feel like I should be doing a better job of coloring this in. I feel like I should stop judging myself so much. God. This is going to be one of those see from above things. Also, I feel like I'm going to get permanent marker on my pinky. Solid, solid plan, Leander. So how are we doing tonight? Today? Sorry, I forgot your name, Riley Ripley. This... I know. Yeah, yes, it is. Okay. Uh, eyeball. Eyeball, eyeball, dun, 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 eyeball. Oh, scarab. You realize that if for any reason I was doing this wrong, it'd be permanent. Like, this would be it. This would be my fuck up. Kind of makes me want to vomit a little bit. It's so permanent, this mistake. This potential mistake, I should say. It's potential. Eyeball, 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 eyeball. <sighs> okay, bird. Other bird. 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 Oh my god, there are a million birds, y'all!
Do you ever wonder if you've uh, pissed someone off karmically? There are so many birds. Yes? Yes, it does. Thank you. Oop, this whole corner is going down. I feel like I'm filling in a QR code. You know, I have been to an escape room like IRL that did something almost exactly like this. And except it was a QR code and then you had to take out your phone and flash at it. And <sighs> Okay. So far we've got fish, scarab, eyeball, bird. Now we're doing this guy. I don't even know what this is. It's some, it's seven, by the way. Seven. Which is some sort of beetle-ish thing. Which is apparently gonna get all the edges. And, and then the boat. So that's all this. Boat. 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 Boat, 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 boat. Uh, that looks fucked up. Maybe a seven, two, one, seven. Oh, wait. <laughs> I think I got everything. Is it a... I think it's a... I think it's 217. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is it. We're playing... We're playing just one. Fuck it. Okay. And where is our... Hex? Have we even found a hex? You know what? I don't think we've found a hex picture because that's a circle I think I really just uh yeah that's definitely a 217 you can see it better in the camera than you can up close and in person um Also, my hand hurts now. That, <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> yes, it's two one seven. Is it for the last page? No, that's a moon. This is unclear. It looks like it's just nine numbers. Um, this has the square and the L on it. This is the Nefertiri's game where we did the piercings, but that was uh, the Y. Um, so I think we don't have a picture of a hex. I think actually we have somehow stepped ahead of our. Wait, but did we? Did we? Um... <laughs> Brain slowly coming together. Did we actually draw the riddle cards for? Yes. Because that was the JR. Yes. Okay, so that was this. But I don't have a hex. I'm missing the hex. Is there J and R? Okay, that's what it says. Follow the instructions on J and R, then to the close. Okay, hello? Yes, we know it's 217. But no. 
We don't know what the hex is supposed to be. That's not fair. Okay, 217, fine. Hex. Uh, 2. 1. Oh. 2, 1. 7. 7. It's 15. Answer card 15, but this is dumb because we don't know what it's on. 15. It's going to say, is it? Yeah. It wants us to tell us which, where we saw the hex and we don't know. That is a problem. Do we have something with the hex on it? I have open scissors. Probably close the scissors. I'll just close the scissors. Right, okay. Treasure chest. That has the L, the diamond, the square. I am lost, my friends. Oh, is it on here? Maybe. No. Maybe it's after the paint section. There's no paint section. Oh, after the paint. The, this. I don't see it. So we are missing something. And I feel like also the circle thing should have been solved before we get to the hex thing anyway. So let's see if we can solve the circle thing. And then we'll come back to you. I'll come back to you, hex, because I do have a circle. So I can solve the circle one. Yeah, solve the color problem. Same. Same. Okay. Also, you are a loose page and you bother me. Okay. So what are we doing? Reception hall. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh my gosh, y'all. We need the bed chamber. Oh, hard. This bothers me. Does it bother you? Oh my gosh, scissors. Yes. Okay. I already did that, didn't I? Okay. There's the altar. Which I don't think we have a thing for, but that's okay. We do, do we have an audience hall? We don't. Do we have a hearth? Yes. We don't have that. We don't have reception hall. Oh, we do have reception hall. Fuck. We don't have altar. We don't have audience. Okay, those two. Do we have a courtyard? Please tell me I can just fuck off that one. Cool. Fuck off, courtyard. Hey, Ripley. (laughs) 
Hey, Brandy. Hey, Huber. Do we need the garden? We do need the garden. Damn it. Y'all, my desk is such a mess. I'm glad this is my personal desk and not my work desk. That's all I have to say. Also, fuck you. Oh, do we need the colonnade? No, it's right here. Okay, colonnade. Bed chamber? Bed chamber. Washing cha yep, washing chamber. World's tiniest clip. Okay, so we should have three left over. Okay. All right, it says cover all, cover no more than needed, but cover all brown with the bed chamber, which is Annoying because like the bed chamber covers like four. <sighs> so and also these are not gonna cover all of them, but that's okay. Okay, cover all green with the garden. Mother. Okay, there's like a shit ton of greens that are just by themselves. <laughs> this is Brandy. This is Ripley. This is me not cursing as much. Hearth can either go that way or that way. Do you ever feel like you need like way more hearths? <laughs> Um, garden is supposed to splat over green, but there aren't even any greens. That's interesting. It changes shape. Okay. Cut the sections up. Yeah. Like the sections of these. Because that feels like. Like I agree with it, but that is also very permanent. Reception hall is red. There is no red side by side. And then I feel like I want to ask for a hint with this one, which is circle. Circle. All right. You need to have VIP for this. And you also will need page six. You will also need an original copy of the blue floor plan of the palace. Because riddle card I just shows a sketch of it. Do you think this is in the box? No. Just look. Just make sure. Just make sure. A copy of the original blue floor plan. Oh, I am an idiot. The original blue floor plan, y'all. It's right here. <laughs> I'm so impressed with Exit the Game. The original blue floor plan. Ta-da! And I cut up the sketch. So now I don't know. Oh, man, I'm just guessing where everything goes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So let's try to figure this out. Um, 
The bed chamber is one of the large ones. Also, it's 8.30. Okay. So that's this one. And then, let me make sure I get this right. This is the middle of the courtyard, so we don't need that. Um, we do have two longs and three shorts. So we have both of these. And three of these, two, three. Okay, so that should be one, two, three, one, two, three, six. Okay, so we've got the originals. All right, there you go. Now we might need to cut these up. Oh my God, that's so good. You are so fucking hell. That was well played. Well played, exit the game. Well played. Okay. But then, do I cut all these up? Because that's a lot. Okay, and I need to refer to these. Okay. Okay. So let's try this, motherfuckers. All right. And then I'm pretty sure we put these over. Okay, cover. This is the bedchamber. Cover all browns. Holy shit. There we go. Browns covered. Okay. Cover. The garden is a long. And we cover all greens. And then reception hall is also a long. And we cover all the reds. Okay. Let me try to stay in. Oh, yeah, greens. All greens. And then all reds. And then uh, washing chamber, please be a short. Good. Washing chamber is all light blues. And dark blues. Should also be a short. Good. And then all orange. Uh, that doesn't quite work. Oh, shit. That doesn't quite work. Cover all blues. Oh, here we go. All blues. And then cover all orange. 542. Y'all. That's all I gotta say. Y'all. 542, motherfucker. <sighs> Four, two, nine. Okay, and the circle is there. Twenty-four. E S. You open the trap door and get into the catacombs. Pardon. You take riddle cards E and S. Okay, that was impressive.
y'all. Y'all, that was really cool. Y'all can fuck off. And please have my hex! Thank you. Okay. There's my hex. We know it's 217. So we can go quickly. Hex. Two. One. Seven. Fifteen. And now we have a hex, and it is the 23. Okay, gotta say, really impressed with the original sketch versus original KO. <laughs> the door opens, it takes you into another burial chamber. It looks like this is the tomb of Nefertiti, an unbelievable find, when then you can't and exactly enjoy just yet you find riddle cards k and o take the riddle cards from the stack and look at them you can probably get rid of that, and that, and that. all right um we have a lot more to look at. I'm just going to keep that in the upper corner. All right. This, I think, goes with this. But I don't know how. Oh, shit. I do know how. Okay, so like, see how there are five skulls there? And there's two of these. There's one of these. But there's one, two, three, four. All right. Is this my loose? Yeah, there's my other. Okay. So. This. Let's do this. Let's do this, motherfucker. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. So there's one of these. I think. I think there's two of these. And then there's one, two, three, four of these. And then I think that goes there. So then it's one, two, three. One. Five. I think that's what it is. But I don't know where that is. The star. Oh, there it is. Star. There we go. We'll do the star. Okay. Same. Thank you. Thank you for playing. Star. Star is four boats. Three flying scarabs. Oh. And nine birds. Six. And it is 26. GN, the bust of Nefertiti, opens up. Take GNN. We only have two more. Oh. This is our thingy things. Before the gray blade closes, place the 11 inside of it. Find the right positions inside. Place the bars correctly and keep your overview. Fuck. Okay, cool, 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 cool. That's fine. I have a feeling that needs to just stay over there for a minute. And that can go away. And this, I think, those can stay there. And that. Now, let's do this one. 
Okay. Connect equals use every space, but each space only once. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. What? So are we supposed to connect the eight to the eight and so on? I think. Okay, so then the two goes to the two, the nine, wait, go this way. I've already fucked it up. That's cool. The six goes to six, the eight to eight, and the seven goes to seven. Did I not cross anything out? How am I supposed to wait? What? Two to two. Oh, okay. So it wants me to do the... Oh, thank God I didn't totally cover that up. Okay, so the two to the two is on the moon. Do we have a moon? Yes. Okay. Let me stop using the thing. Okay, moon is that and bird... Bird. and flying beetle, 27. And it's on a muff muffin, on a muffin, or a mummy, Leander. It could be a, a mummy. DH, you can unwrap the mummy. Yes, we know it's been 75 minutes. Shut up. Okay. One, two. Got it. Buckle my shoe. Oh, also this. Three. So one, two, three. And we're just going to do this and this and that. And do we have... We haven't used this at all, just for the record. We've used everything except our rug. Okay. Okay, before the grave lid closes again, place the 1-1 one, one inside of it. Find the right positions inside, place the bars correctly, and keep your overview. So either one, two, or three. Um, and then it's got the letters. Do we have another place where we did letters? This is, this is Okay. And then, damn it. Any thoughts? And red always goes above green. Okay. Are these different? Yes, T to P, thank you. But are these exactly the same? They are exactly the same.
Yes. You mean like the last um, riddle cards? The last riddle cards have been used, and they were these two, I think. And we already had this one. And so we have one, two, three. Then we have this. And it says, before the grave lid closes again, place the 1-1 one, one, or 11 inside of it. Find the right positions inside. Place the bars correctly and keep your overview. Now, something I want to take a look at is to see if these are exactly the same. These are exactly the same as the other, by the way. Um, like, those are all the same. These match up perfectly. But do these match up perfectly? And I think the answer is yes. Um, yeah, good question. And then these are the help cards for triangle. <coughs> I say we go for it. Yes, bars can be 11. Also, I totally drew on my. Oh, you need page 11 from the book. OK, so it is it is going to use this. By the way, what is meant by lid is the actual lid of the game box. OK, so we need page 11. And then we need the actual lid of the game box. Do we put this on top? For the grave lid, place the 11 inside of it. <gasps> oh, sneaky. Okay, so the lid actually says above, below. So I'm going to do that. And theoretically, we do this. Those don't seem to, oh, maybe they go like this or something. Okay. So then that. And this is, by the way, this is pretty cool. The camera shows a better angle than me. Brandy, did you mean to say you've got to go? <laughs> All right. Let's see. All right. That was cool. Give me the clue, too. Tear page 11. Place the page in the lid of the game box. Along the inner edge of the lid, you will find letters. With the help of riddle cards D, H, and N, you can now place. Wait, I will. I mean, I see it says above and below. Does it have a, oh my God, it has other letters. Okay, fine. Okay. Are we ready for this? No, as in get a hint. Okay, cool. Cool, glad we're on the same page. Okay, first step is D to P, which is D are you fucking kidding me with these okay taking off the glasses D to P oh my god I hate my life P D and H ah D B, C, C, D, D, P, and H, 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 T, T. And I'm guessing that you pick the one then that it's crossed over, which would be the fish. 
but I don't see how um, this would like change. All right, let's just try eking out the fish first. All right, so one is a fish, maybe. Two is J to S. Oh god. How is it not gonna be the fish like every time? And C to Q. Alright, Q's not that far. Let's use over here. Okay, so then it's it is doing different stuff. So then the bird. And then B to T. And G to U. G to U. Beetle. And putting on glasses so I can actually see you all. Yeah. No. But I probably do need to get um I probably do need to get bifocals, really. I'm just like being a wimp about it. Where was the triangle though? Shit. There it is. The door. Okay. So ten. Am I getting to bed on time? I might be. Is this 18? Yes. Enter the code and the stand door opens. You're free. How many help cards did you use? A million. No, seriously. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, we somehow got four stars. You want to hear this? You enter the code and the stone door opens. You're finally free. You quickly find the rest of your tour group and tell them about your adventure. Soon there are news reports about how you discovered the forgotten burial chamber of Nefertiti. It's the biggest story of the year and the whole world wants to interview you. Things can hardly have gotten better except the nightmare that plagues you night after night. You are pursued by a horde of mummies crying Imhotep, Imhotep, Imhotep over and over. Every night you wake up drenched in sweat. When will this madness end? You know when it'll end? Yes. You know when it'll end? It'll end when you see. Just a second. Just a second. Funny that you would get PTSD from being locked in a throne room. Your nightmares will end when you actually get therapy. Probably exposure therapy, where you tell your story over and over until it no longer gives you nightmares and rumination. Well, that got dark at the end, but we actually... I'm not... Me, me, me. I'm not too chuffed about how how much we used hints. We didn't use hints that much. I used you all a lot more. Hey, emo. Uh, but yeah, for the most part, not bad. Not bad at all. I loved that uh, that the box was used again so much. That is so awesome i just i thought you know after last time because we also used the box i was like there's no way they can surprise me again well okay fine i guess you can um because that was that was pretty badass um so what did y'all think putting away all the hint cards i have Six minutes until my bedtime.
<laughs> yeah. Peace be with you. Yeah, I was, I was, yeah. Thank you for joining us, Brandy and Ripley. Oh my gosh, Ripley, it was awesome to see you again. Yeah. And I was really impressed with the box again. And it wasn't used in the same way. That was awesome. I love that it was used in an entirely another uh, new way. Um, the uh, the surprise pieces were okay, but I particularly liked I particularly liked how the surprise pieces were used with the box and the page eleven and crossing over and da 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 da. da. I know it's so stressful to cut everything up. And also the thing about this game is it's so different. You're welcome, Lisa and Rebecca. The thing about this game is the card use is so complicated that I had to review the tutorial in order to remember how to do the clues with the um, hints with the blah, blah, blah. So maybe we'll go straight into another exit the game next week. Um, and also I need to retape my desk because it's it is all written up again. <laughs> um, yeah, so happy Santa Claus. Toot uncommon. <laughs> Love it. I love how I mispronounced all the Egyptian names. And we can see how well I did in history class when I was growing up. Um, yeah. So good night. Good day. Good evening. Have fun the rest of your weekend. And I will see you in a week unless you are interested in. I do tape the desk so I can write on it. But yeah, I also write it so that the cards uh, focus better because hmm. black background. Um, sleep well. Good night. Take care. Don't let the bug bugs bite and I will see you next week. Let's definitely do an exit the game. I have three more, two more. I have two more of these. And, oh, my God. Hey, Imo. I got a German escape room. Do you want to see if you can help me with that? It's in German. I might be, maybe I save this for when we can visit each other in, in person. But we'll see. All right. Take care, y'all. And where's my shit, y'all? Hey! Y'all saw it here first. Imo's going to help me with the German escape room calendar. Bye, y'all. Take care. I'm also going over to the brand. Going over to the brand. Love and hugs. Love you all. Take care.